My name is Seti and welcome back to another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. AppsEvents.com, your place to find tips and tricks that you can use in the classroom. So let's go ahead and add another one to it. Today, we'll be looking at what you can do with your Google Classroom to tidy it up at the end of the year and get ready for the next school year. So let's get started. Here I am on my Google Classroom and the entire progress is going to be four steps long. Now, the first step will be for us to make sure that all the work has been graded or marked and returned to our students. The second step is to tidy up the connected drive folder. We're going to tidy up our connected Google Calendar. And then finally, we are going to copy and or archive our classroom. So let's do that together. First step is making sure that all the work has been graded, marked and returned to our students. Now, why is this important? Well, it's important because as students hand in their work, you become the owner. So let's say that your account is removed or you are leaving the school. They also lose access to all their files. So at the end of the year, you want to make sure you return all the work back to the students so they become the owners of their files. Where can you do that? Well, open up your classroom and at the top, you will find a marks or grades tab. Go ahead and click on that. And here next to each assignment, you see three dots. You can click on those three dots and then select return all. Once you've clicked on return all, you get a little notification and you can return all the work back to those students. Once you have done that, all the students get access to their own files. The second step is to now tidy up the drive folder because as you create new Google Classroom classes, each class gets assigned its own folder. You can go to classwork and then here at the top, you will find a direct link to the class drive folder. Go ahead and click on that. This opens up Google Drive and you will see we have a folder here for the year five class. Go ahead and click on that parent folder. You can see classroom. Now, do not delete the classroom folder. Anything within that can be moved around and color coded and changed. But the main folder, classroom folder, that one should remain on your Google Drive. Otherwise, it will make an absolute mess and it will be really difficult to get it back. These are all older classes. So I'm now going to create a new folder. I'm going to create a folder and I'm going to say old classes. Now you can name this whatever you want to name it. Maybe you want to name it the school year, say 2021, 21, 22. I'm just going to go with old classes and I'm going to move that year five class that is now an older one into the old classes. The third step is then to also tidy up the connected calendar. So here, when we go back to our Google Classroom, you will see there's another link, Google Calendar. When I click on that, it opens up my Google Calendar and that calendar that I'm mentioning lives here on the left hand side. So you can see here there's a year five calendar. You can choose one of two things. You can either delete this calendar, it's gone, or you can hide it from the view. Now, if you hide it from your view, it's still there somewhere, but at least it's not clogging up your view of your calendar. I'm going to delete this. So I'm going to click on the three dots. Instead of hiding it from my list, I'm going to go to settings and sharing, scroll all the way down and delete this calendar. Permanently delete. That calendar is now gone. It's not cluttering up my own Google Calendar. And then finally, step number four, copy if you want to reuse all the assignments and files and archive your classroom. So let's go to Google Classroom's main page, classes. And this year five class is an old one. So I can now choose to click on this and I can copy this class. Now, why would I do that? Well, when you copy the class, all the assignments, all the topics you've used that year, they will all be copied over and will be stored as drafts. Your students are not copied over. This can be a huge time saver. If you've got a lot of assignments and you are going to be reusing some of those, you can copy your class. Then we will archive the class. Now, don't worry. Once you've archived the class, you can always go back and copy it later if you choose to do so. For now, let's go ahead and just archive our class. I'm going to click on archive. This will move it into archived, archive. It's gone. 
But let's say that I now need it or I need access to it. I can always go here to the top, click on those three lines, go to archived classes. And right there, you will find that class. Now, as I mentioned, you can still click on those three dots and copy an archived class. That means all assignments and all topics will be copied over. So these are the four steps that you can use to tidy up your Google Classroom, prepare for the summer and prepare for the next academic year. Mark and grade all the work, returning it to students, tidy up your drive folder, tidy up your calendar, and then finally archive your classes. I hope you found this helpful. If you did, make sure to subscribe to the channel. This was another Tips and Tricks with Apps Events and Acer. In the meantime, thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.